In today's video, we'll give an overview of how to leave lesson feedback in Chalk. First, we'll take a look at the new option that lets you leave feedback on unplanned lessons. We'll then go through an example of how you can include helpful resources when leaving feedback and how this will automatically provide teachers with an email notification so they can easily review the feedback they've received. Let's get started. Starting from our Chalk dashboard, which is always accessible in the top left corner, We'll go ahead and select Admin either from the top menu or from the center of our dashboard here. From Admin, we're looking for the Lesson Feedback option on the left. If this is the first time we're visiting this page, we'll be provided with a quick overview of what we can do from here and some helpful resources under Learn More. For now, we'll go ahead and click Continue. We're currently on the week view of our lesson feedback page and looking at who has planned lessons for the current week. By default, we'll be looking at who has met this criteria, but we can go ahead and select not met from the tabs here and see all the teachers that don't currently have lessons for this week. By selecting the teacher, it will display their schedule where we can select one of their subjects, see that a lesson is not currently planned, and use the Leave Feedback option on the right to let them know. Now that we've left the feedback, the teacher will receive a notification, allowing them to quickly access their lessons. If we go back to our Lesson Feedback page, we can see which lessons have received feedback with the eye icon shown here. We'll now go through an example of how you can include resources when leaving feedback on teachers' lessons. We're still on the week view, but this time we're looking at a teacher who has lessons for this week. We'll select the math lesson that's planned on this Wednesday. And once we click leave feedback on the right, we can include links directly in the comments so that teachers can access those. And we can also use the upload files option to select any resources such as PDFs or any other resource that we want to include in the feedback. Once the feedback has been provided, the teacher will receive an email where it will tell them what class has received feedback and on what date, and within the email itself, they can see a preview of the feedback, as well as click the option here to see it within their Chalk account. After clicking the link in the email, the teacher will be brought to a list of all the feedback they currently have, where they can click View Lesson, see the full details of their lesson, as well as the feedback on the right-hand side, where they can access any of the resources, as well as use the reply option to reply to the feedback they've received. We hope you found today's video helpful. For additional support, you can visit our help center at help.chalk.com or reach out to us directly using either the in-app live chat available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time, or reach out to us at support at chalk.com and we'll get back to you within 24 hours.